Alrighty, welcome to another day in paradise. Although uh, it's looking a bit uh, dull and a little bit wet out there, but that's all right. Anyway, what we've got here um, doesn't look like much has actually happened here, um, and it sort of hasn't, but it sort of has. Um, there was a bit of a major misfire, especially at Idle, um, that I couldn't get on top of. I'll insert a video if I can of the issue showing the. Um, LEDs on the on the uh, Speedwino unit um, having a glitch a glitch out or a, a fault of some kind um, I took logs of everything and um, talked to the appropriate people but um, um, nobody could really help me out except they, everybody seemed, seemed to come to the conclusion that there was a fault with the um, computer itself, which is a bit disappointing. Um, considering I'd made a complete loom for it and done it all and wired it all and everything was done really well. Um, and everything was perfect. Um, I went from a... Um, your typical, oh, like this. This is this is a crank sensor. Obviously, um, there was one like it, a VR one. Uh, this one here. Um, a lot of people were saying at the start that I had a problem with the um, VR sensor in terms of interference, um, how it was reading. So that was fine. Um, uh, so. I scoped it, everything looked okay, but I thought, well, I'll take everybody's word for it. Um, I was seeing RPM spikes at, um, you know, sitting there idling at 1200 RPM, and then all of a sudden it would glitch and RPM spike up to 17,000 RPM in some cases. Um, you'll see that in the video anyway, the, the, the problem. Um, so I thought, right, okay, I will go to the trouble of altering the wiring slightly and I ordered a couple of sensors from uh, China. Um, these are the same sensor, fits in the same dimensions, bolts straight into the same hole, and it's a hall sensor. Has a different plug on the end, so altered the plug as well. Put it in, and it didn't do anything at all. It wouldn't even work. Um, so I'm not sure if that's because it's China sensor or um, there was something wrong with the the model I bought or something. I'm not sure, but it didn't work. So in the end. I thought, right, I've got to get this thing running on a hall sensor properly. So I found, believe it or not, a sensor, just a, it's a known hall sensor out of a good um, Mitsubishi gearbox. And I made up that little adapter to fit and mucked around with it, made a little, cut one of the leads off the other sensor, made a little hole down bracket. And that's silly because that bolt there is a 7x1. 7x1, that's not even a freaking size. Anyway, um, put that in and fired it up, and it fired up first pop. And I was like, yeah, that's awesome, it's going to work. Um, and then all of a sudden, it started to glitch out exactly the same as it did with the VR sensor. It's identical. And at that point, I sort of uh, knew that I was in trouble. And um, that I was going to have... Um, Problem, there was some other issue um, so yeah I talked to all the appropriate people and um, posted up everywhere asking for help asking for advice uh, I sent logs to people um, I talked to yeah the right people but I sort of didn't get anywhere and a couple of them didn't get back to me when they needed to but they didn't um, but that's all right um, so how did I fix it I have fixed it, and this is might be a bit of dis, a bit of disappointing to uh, you Speedwino fans, um, but this is my Speedwino ECU, and yeah, it's sitting on the bench, and I've cut the plugs off it, and I'm really disappointed because um, I had high hopes for it, but it just it just didn't work out. I'm not sure what's happened. But um, the glitch in there, um, from you, you can see on the video, is just is just um, somebody said it's the the main board or there's something wrong with it. But um, there's a fault definitely in it. Disappointing. So um, 
this is what I've got. Um, now this car hasn't been fired up for a few days. It may or may not fire up. We'll find out. We'll see what happens. Anyway. Anyway, it will fire up. Here, I'll give it some gas. Here you go. It's got a squeaky belt. I haven't set the timing yet. I'm just about to do that. I've got to tighten that belt up. <laughs> All right, smooth as a Swiss watch. Uh, yeah, so, um, and how did I fix that? Well, I cut and shut the wiring and, I don't know if you can see it, I'll just get a light. Cut and shut the wiring. I've got an external map sensor now. Du -du 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 -du. What is that? That is a micro squirt that I've had sitting on the bench for about three years. Never got around to using it. Um... Wired it in, cut and shut it, wired it in, and within 10 minutes of mucking around with some um, settings, um, it fired up like that. And that is an absolute virgin tune, basically just got it to start and run an idle. Um, and yeah, it took about 10 minutes of mucking around with settings. The layout of Tuner Studio is slightly different, but... Um, as you can see it works obviously it's not as quite as technical as this one here but i think i'm going back to my original philosophy which was simple and effective uh, whereas this was running a cam sensor for full sequential ignition and injection uh, this one here is running a, a crank only sensor and the cam sensor's there, it could be plumbed it, I've got the wiring there ready to go if I needed to, but I thought, right, I'm just going to keep it simple and keep the cam sensor out of it. So I'm running uh, a pair and a pair injection, and I'm running batch-fired uh, coil unplug. Um, at the moment, we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, I was, I was pretty... I, th I thought, yeah, well, that, you know, just keep it simple. Just keep it simple. And that's as simple as you can get. One sensor running the whole car. And, you know, um, I did have to make a, I don't know if you can see it here, um, that little box underneath there. That is like a, a TC driver, um, which is required to run the um, trigger hungry trigger hungry um red r8 coil packs um apparently the micro skirt by itself can't run them directly um hasn't got enough juice to fire them because they're quite trigger hungry so yeah we're going for that little driver box i got some bits from jaycar and put it together and um hot glued it all in there and it's working just basically worked had to alter the settings um compared to a normal one um, in terms of um, um, the way that the coil triggers, uh, the coil fires, um, going uh, high instead of going low, things like that. Yeah, so um, I'm a bit disappointed about this, but um, we have a result and I can move on now. Um, I've talked to the axle guy about the axles and he said uh, within the next two weeks they will be done. I'm looking forward to that. I've got some time today, so I will put some gas in it because I've just about out of gas, and I will time it um, perfectly. Oh, close! It's close. Obviously, it runs and runs quite well. Um, trigger, trigger offset angle was a way different compared to micro skirt and Speedino, so I'm not sure how that worked, but yeah, it was way off, um, way different. Um, so now I can move on and get cracking on all the other jobs. Um, I've got. Over here, I've got the air filter to sort, to put on, so I might do that today. 
um, and I might start making the um, the lid, the final lid. Um, just it'll be pretty simple, I think. Just a bit of a square or rectangle, and uh, I think I might just have to hump it just a little bit, just a fraction, because it just touches it, unfortunately. But that's all right, no worries, and um, we'll carry on moving on and. Um, sooner or later, as soon as these axles turn up, I will be able to um, give it its maiden voyage. And um, obviously I'll let you guys know about it. So that's it for now. Um, had a loss, but had a win, if you know what I mean. And uh, um, onwards and upwards. Right, I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. See ya, bye.